Jewish Jewish we like Kirby said, we could go on and on and on yeah, because yeah. there's just so many things, you know, just so many things and well, now she so sucked into, you know, this I guess she really believes it. I don't know, but she's so sucked into this that you know, they they said no turning back, never, never, never. No turning back from what? From Jesus? I don't under I don't understand I don't understand what they're saying. Well I mean they're lying. They're I mean, lying they're through lying. your teeth. Yeah. But indeed, there is no turning back. At least, that is what I believe. I believe that they have crossed that very bloodline of Jesus Christ by continuing to using Him for His own purposes. They, they, they are mocking his, his, his very blood that He shed for us. You know, they are mocking that very blood. And, you know, you know this, this whole... You know, situation, the videos they make, and the things that that you are sharing with us now, this this proves their hypocrisy. I mean, they dare they dare talk about love, and they dare preach in the name of Jesus, and yet and yet they themselves have almost destroyed the faith of their own kids and left their own children behind without any kind of sorrow or remorse. Right, and still no sorrow or remorse or acknowledgement. Yeah, yeah. Because right now you 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 basically, you know, you're still reaching out to them, actually, and you openly say, "Well, I even forgive her," but but they even ignore that. You know, this must be this must be pretty painful for you guys, isn't it? Um, you know, I think it probably is for some of us worse than others. Um, I think Toby probably got the worst end of the emotional abuse to be honest mm -hmm. and um, I just you know what hurts me is to see her doing to other people you know what she twisting the word of God and confusing people, confusing people. and yeah, yeah, exactly. still doing that and, and not even acknowledging you know hey you did this to us Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. I don't remember that. That never happened. And even with that, we still let her back into our lives. I love her. I don't. I don't want her to go to hell. I don't want that for her. Mm -hmm. I want her to stop what she's doing. And you know, I. I really. Her and Don. Are, I mean, I feel like they're really crossing a line. A line, and and. These people, they should, they just need to be aware. Exactly. Thank you so much, Shannon, for your love for the people. Well, absolutely. And absolutely. You know, concerning that video that you that you talked about about Sharon, you know, calling basically God's judgment down upon the Jezebel spirit. Um. You know. Another proof of their hypocrisy is that is that she represents the the, the attributes of that fairy spirit, basically. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. I believe that. I mean, she. I don't know if she was faithful. She's been married four times. Um. I know she was faithful to my dad. I'm not sure if she was faithful to her second husband or not. And I know that she wanted to leave John. Whether or not there was somebody else, I don't know. But, um, it, I do find it a little ironic for her to, to have such passion almost about retribution on Jezebel. Mm -hmm. It's, it's almost a little ironic. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want, I want to repeat this again for the people. Um, you know, this was basically after John claimed to be a prophet that um, and that they claimed to be saved by Jesus Christ. It was after this that your mom told you that this was God's way of punishing you by having you, you know, by killing your baby, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Exactly. And I, I want this to make this very clear for the people that say right now, ah, oh, well, this is John and Sharon's past. It is all covered with the blood of Jesus. But 
during this this um, you know the, while they were claiming to be saved and while John was claiming to be a prophet Sharon told her own daughter that God was punishing her killing her babies because she didn't listen to Sharon now you know anybody yeah, that, that's right. yeah anybody right now that is making excuses for John and Sharon and you know and refusing to contact these kids that are coming forth right now to testify of these truths you know to encourage them know this people as you continue to to ignore these kids and back up John and Sharon while you know these truths that they that they present to you at this time because of the love that they have for you know that you are being held accountable for God by uh, for backing John and Sharon and you know not encouraging these these precious children of Sharon that come forth you know at this time for your sakes um, know that you're being held accountable by God for doing so you know there, there is no excuse at this time to do this and um, you know and I pray to the Lord that that people will actually see these videos and come forth that actually care about about the truth and that care about you guys and, and this is a grievous thing to me that people just you know they, they just ignore these things well I like that I'd like to just uh, say one thing to these people. Yeah. Why would we lie? Why? What reason do me and my brother and sister have to get on the internet and they say trash my mom? For what? Mm -hmm. For what? For nothing. We have no reason to do that. We don't hate her. We, we have no reason to get on and say untrue things and mean things just to hurt her. And I want people to think about that because, you know, we, we do love her. She is our mother. And, you know, we just don't want her to hurt other people the way that we know she is capable of hurting them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just really, sincerely urge people to, to just just think about that. Why would all three of her children come forward with the same story? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shanna, for telling us this. This is a very good question that people should ask themselves. Now, there are some of them out there that would probably say, "Oh well, you know, it is because you hate Jesus. It has become. It is because you don't know Jesus, you know, and things like that." But that is not even true. No, yeah, no. Exactly. You love the Lord, and um, I believe that it is the Lord that has brought you, that has given you this opportunity to speak out. And I believe that God, you know, He's a righteous God, and He has heard your cries, and He has seen every single teardrop that you shed because of this woman. And, um, you know, but, but even if you were a Jesus hater, if that, even if that was the case, you know, the first one to blame for this would, should have been Sharon. If that was the case, the first one to blame, to, to to blame for this, if that was the case. But but it's not even. You love the Lord. I do, and 